Hello, future Falcons. My name is Mrs. McAnger, and I'm in special education at CW. I'm one of three resource teachers here to help you. And my name is Billy Gitter, and I work in student success and guidance. You have so much control over beginning a wonderful high school experience. While we hope that you have your feet planted in a fun and successful grade eight year, the move to high school will be on your mind too. Usually, students feel excited, a bit nervous, and hopeful about what will be new. You're not on your own at CWDHS. While a larger school makes it important that you find your way to ask for help, there are so many supportive staff members here who are on your team. On your screen, you can see a few examples. Your classroom teacher is your first resource. There are resource teachers for students with IEPs. Our resource room at CW is open to all students who need help from time to time. You've just met the student success teacher. There are three guidance counselors here, a CYC, and a social worker, among many other staff in the building. What are you wondering about? What do you feel ready for? Are you a little bit nervous? Have you heard, what have you heard about high school that you want to ask us about? CW staff have already met with some of our partner schools to answer questions. If you have more questions, or if you're coming from a school that we have not met with, please reach out to the contacts provided later in this video. Connection in, connections in high school will make all the difference. Choose positive connections. Choose to spend time with positive, kind people and know that your own great energy becomes part of our school community. At CW, we aim to take care of each other. High school really be, will be what you make it. Getting involved is so fun and important. You meet new people, make new friends. There are life skills to be learned. It's great to try something new with no or low pressure. This is the part that people remember when they think back about the high school years. Get involved, have fun. On your screen, there are just a few examples of the extracurricular activities available at CW. CW. There are many more. There truly is something for everyone. In the second week of school, there will be a clubs fair to learn more about all of the offerings. Listen to announcements for new additions and information about the things that come up throughout the year. Now, I would like to share some information with you about the ins and outs of high school, as well as specifics about course selection for grade nine. To earn your OSSD, or high school diploma, you need 30 course credits. 18 of those are said to be compulsory, like English, math, science, and so on, and 12 are up to you. These classes are called electives. You also need 40 hours of community involvement, as well as the successful completion of the grade 10 literacy test. I just mentioned that you need to earn 30 credits to graduate. Well, what is a credit? Well, once a course is passed, a credit is granted for that course. To pass a course, you must achieve a final grade of 50% or higher. Students are expected to take eight courses each year. If you score below 50%, you are not successful and you may need to repeat the course. In this case, you haven't earned the credit. In grade nine and 10, you choose the type or stream of your classes. Classes in grade nine and 10 are offered as open, locally developed, applied, and academic. Another thing that you might notice that is different in high school is that we work on a semestered system. Students take eight courses in two blocks of time, four courses from September to January, and four courses from February to June. All four courses are taken every day, two in the morning, followed by lunch, and then two in the afternoon. We have all been part of a unique school adjustment this year, and we have some uncertainty about where COVID will take us for next year. Right now, we are planning for September 2021 to be back to a regular semestered school system. Any changes to this plan will be communicated to you and your parents. When you choose courses, choose the places that you will be most successful and happy. If you are in a special class placement, you will have support to help you plan. All pathways lead to the same diploma. It is finally your opportunity to choose a pathway that is as unique as you are. So what does grade nine look like? In grade nine, most students take five compulsory courses in English, geography, math, science, and French. You have the choice of the stream and will choose between academic, locally developed, and applied. You get to choo choose three electives from the list on the right. 
Students coming from our partner schools will choose their classes using my blueprint. For non-UGDSB grade eight students, please contact the school and a registration package will be sent to you. UGDSB students have access to my blueprint through their board account. If you are an upper grand school, you will or high school Access your My Blueprint account on your UG Cloud landing page. Your My Blueprint homepage will look something like this. You access the plans for high school by selecting High School from the menu on the left. You will see in your high school planner a designated row for each school for each year of high school. This year, you are making plans for grade nine, so we will add courses there. You can see that we have given you a suggestion as to each compulsory course that you need to take. As mentioned earlier, most grade nine students take English, math, science, geography, and French, as well as three electives of their choosing. For the compulsory courses, you need to choose the stream of course you wish to take. To do this, you click on the box, select the stream from academic, locally developed or essential, or apply. You choose the course and then select add course. When you are ready to add your elective courses, you click on the box. All of the course subject areas are listed below. If you are not sure where to find a course, you can also type the, cor the course into the search field at the top. Select the course and add the course. If you make a mistake or if you change your mind, you can select the three dots on the right hand top corner and delete or change your selection. You can start planning your grade nine year now by talking to your parents and teacher and adding courses to your high school planner. Course selection will open for you in January. This means that in January, you will be able to submit your choices to the high school for us to see. You do this by reviewing your courses, and finally, submitting your courses. You must have submit, submitted your plan by the end of January. The staff at CW cannot see plans that are not submitted and will not know which courses you wish to take. Course selection will close at the end of January. After this date, you will not be able to use my blueprint to select your courses for grade nine. Your circumstances may change between January and next September. If you change your mind or you need help with regards to course selection, you can reach out to a guidance counselor or to Ms. Mick. So we have given you lots of information and that might seem a little bit overwhelming. What you need to know right now is that in January, on January the 12th, you and your parent will be able to view a virtual presentation about elective courses as well as view a tour of the school. You must make your initial choices for grade nine by the end of January. You should start thinking about your compul compulsory pathway choices now by talking to your parents and your teachers about what might be best for you. Think about which electives you would like to take in grade nine and maybe even in grade 10. You should log into my blueprint and learn how to navigate the site. What additional information do you need to feel excited and confident about your journey to grade nine? CW staff are happy to answer your questions. While we cannot book tours in person right now, your teacher can forward questions or invite us to a small group chat in the future.
Future Falcons, we can't wait to get to meet you.